On this Fights For You, I help lots of people resolve lots of issues with their PC, not just on how to build and upgrade their PCs. And one of the most frustrating things, not only for you, but for me, is trying to help you out when you just don't know what the model number or the part number is of that particular component. That particular video card, SSD, RAM, motherboard, CPU, you just don't know. I get it. But it's frustrating for both of us because I'm trying to help you, but I need to know that information in order to help you. But today I'm going to make that a little bit easy for you to help you find an application that finds all of that for you. So let's jump to that real quick. On this Meta PC that I am reviewing, that I've had for a little bit, I need to return it soon, we'll open up Microsoft Edge or Chrome or whatever, go to hwinfo.com, hardware info diagnostic software, and then we'll click free download. Now you can install it or you can use the portable version. That way you can take it wherever and you don't need to install it. So we'll scroll down a tiny bit and we'll hover over free download and we'll select the nearest place to you. For me, it's local US. Downloads quickly, it's tiny. So we'll go ahead and open up that zip file. Inside of the zip file, there are two files, hwinfo32 and hwinfo64. hw32 will work on a 32-bit system and on a 64-bit system. HW64 will only work on a 64-bit system. But regardless, I'll go ahead and use HW64. Because it's a single file that's not relying on anything else, we can actually use this executable from inside the zip file. So I'll double click here and I'll click run. And I'll go ahead and click start. Now it's kind of funny because I just downloaded the latest version and it's telling me there's a newer version. We'll skip that for now. Just in case we need it later, we always know where to go. So we'll click close here. Now on starting up the application, it gives us a lot of the info we may already need. So it tells us first off the CPU, we're using the Intel Core i5 13600K processor. Then it gives us a lot of information on the processor as well. Socket LGA 1700, Raptor Lake S, all that good information. And then over here, we have motherboard, MSI MPG Z690 Edge Wi-Fi DDR4, MS7D31, tells us the chipset, the BIOS version, again, I've had it for a little bit, not their fault, 32 gigs of RAM on the board. It is DDR4 SD RAM, then here DDR4 3603 megahertz, then it tells us all the latencies of the RAM. Then coming over here, we can find out the GPU, the Intel Raptor Lake S integrated graphics, but that's just that one. If we have another one, we can click on the drop down, select GP1. Then it tells us the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, the model number down here, the GA104 number, PCIe information, and all that information here. This is awesome information to have, but maybe we need more. So we just move this aside for now. And then we have this information here, which is amazing. So we'll open up here, central processor. It tells us, and I'll expand it here. I'll click here. It gives us, I'll close this. It gives us all the information on the processor. You can see that just scrolling down here. Then the motherboard gives us again, the manufacturer and model number of the motherboard. It actually also tells us the BIOS version that we're using, which is awesome because a lot of times you need a newer BIOS to support something. I always recommend being on the latest BIOS. A lot of people are gonna hate me for that one. All right, so then over here on the memory, this is pretty cool. It tells you what row and in what bank that memory is on, and then what kind of memory. That's pretty awesome. Tells you the speed of the memory as well. The CAS, RAS, and TRAS latency, then the memory clock speed. So that's pretty awesome. Then we'll go under video adapter. We'll expand that. And again, this has both enabled. So we can find out that we can use the NVIDIA GeForce 3070 Ti, scrolling down a tiny bit. Tells us resizable bar is supported and it is currently enabled. Scrolling down a little bit more. It even tells us the driver version that we're using. That's pretty awesome. And then if we want to see the other graphics card that is currently enabled and installed, we can see that right over here, the Intel UHD graphics, Raptor Lake S GT1. And then same thing, we can see the driver version and everything down here. 
So great information. Monitor, if we had the monitor drivers installed, we can find that all here. Now this is my capture card instead of my monitor, but it gives you that information if you had your monitor connected directly. Over here, drives. There's nothing here under SATA or Atapi drives. Then we can go here under MVME, expand it. Then we know we have a Kingston SNV2S1000G drive. We can see that up here as well. We can see that it is a one terabyte drive. So that's awesome. It gives us all that information. If we had more drives, it would pop up. Then it tells us what audio card we're using, what ethernet adapters or wireless adapters we're utilizing, and then all of the ports as well. Now going a step further, if you wanna find out how hot this is running, we can go up here, then you click sensors. We'll expand it here. Now this gives you a ton of information. You may have to look around a little bit to find everything, but here it can tell you your CPU voltage, your speed, all that great information. And then coming down a little bit more, you can find that more of that here. The CPU package is 38 degrees Celsius, 39. So up and down there. And just gonna move this out a little bit more. It tells us our min our max and our average temperatures voltages megahertz all of that amazing information and scrolling down we just get more of it then here we get the motherboard temperatures and voltages and everything coming down a little bit more we get the same information for nvidia geforce our ssd and everything else here so just a quick and dirty on a great application that will help you help me or even help yourself to know exactly what's inside of the computer. This meta PC is a boutique build, a custom build, but this will also work on an HP, a gateway, a Dell to let you know exactly what's in your computer. Those might be a little bit more difficult because they won't be off the shelf components like the meta PC is using, but still it'll give you a good idea in case you need to order some RAM you can find out exactly what you have, then you know exactly what you need to buy. And then all that information. Now, mind you, the only thing it won't tell you is what sort of power supply you have. For that, you're going to need to pull apart your computer and look inside. For example, this is the inside of that Meta PC case. Not every single case is going to look the same, but the power supply on this case is right over here. Obviously, there's a power supply shroud here. You can't see anything. So you can always reach around the back and unscrew it, pull it out, but you have to remember, even if it's a modular power supply, there are cables attached to everything. Modular power supplies are very difficult to detach, so chances are you're going to have to pull out of here, pull out of there, detach every single cable. One other potential option, and again, you're not going to get it on every single case because every single case is different, is if you remove the side panel, You might get lucky like we just did and find the power supply here now it may not be perfectly visible you might have to move some stuff but moving the cable we can see it's an evga 850 gt power supply it's an 80 plus gold so with that we can find out exactly what we have and if we wanted to upgrade the video card or any other component we know just how much power we have and also what kind of cables we have if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. As you know, always, I love to help you guys. And just in case, in case you're curious on how to install the Gigabyte RTX 4090 card, check out this video up here and tons more to come. Iggy with this bites for you up. See you guys.